up in the air and through. So it was the width straight away that Katie Mack was interested in. And she took full advantage. And again with some width and again through the gap and again a boundary. She didn't really have that control as much on that shot. The other one she really went with, but just sort of flat batted that one, but uh, Oh, it's Scott, it's top edge and it's Fulton running back. They'd had the change in the field with those two boundaries with Day being pushed back to deep third. Quite loves to drive, get width outside off. Yeah, as long as she's able to keep it nice and tight to those stumps. Gets that one in as well and doesn't get the length right and it's through and that will race away as well. So boundaries being found here by the strikers in the first few overs. Up against... Right across the crease and really uses that extension to try and open up that onside. And that's some pretty good running as well. Fractionally fuller. And the reach again from Katie Mack has found the boundary line. And that is exactly where Katie Mack goes. End of the third over, Meg Lanning been having used. Once again, it's Noah Bouchier doing the hard yards on the boundary line. In the air, she should find the gap with this shot as well, and she does. And again, on the pull shot, does she find the gap? She certainly does. She's off to a little flyer here as Katie Mack. Vulvart probably wisely just says, you're on a roll here, Katie. I'll just take the single. Over to you. Let's take away that extra bounce by coming down the wicket and has timed it well enough as well. It's more so the placement. Hits sort of the top of off stump straight away, but for Katie Mack, she has got her eye in. Mac just opens up that front leg and drills it down the ground and it beats Capsie. She is hitting them to all parts of the ground at the moment is Katie Mack. To spin, to seam, it does not matter. Different style. Oh, she's hit that well. It's a stand and deliver the pull off the front foot. Laura Vulvart is joining the party. That little extra pace, and that's flown off the blade as well. What a half century to start her WBBL 09 campaign. Katie Mack races to 53. From this time just uses the pace, just lays back on it and goes back to back boundaries. Straight down the ground as it bounces once, skips over the hands and through the hands of Illingworth for four. It sounded nice, but it's found some gaps. And yeah, it'll skip across. Skip across the surface here. Capsie can't track it down. And Laura Vulvart's decided to uh, join in with a little bit of fun here. Goes for control here, Katie Mack and controls it beautifully. She is splitting fielders left, right and centre here at Karen Walt Noble. Oh, it's nicely timed. We know that she loves a cover drive. It's just equally as good when it's a bit straighter like this one here. It's great. Timed nicely, but to the field and down. And with the drop catch, they will get through for the run and chalk up the hunt. Down the wicket once again. Uh, Day falls in behind it, but knows she can't get there. And then Alice Capsi, even with the big dive, realise that she can't either. She's timed that nicely as well. Wow, that's a classy, classy shot there from Laura Vulvart. 
Oh, outside edge, but <laughs> no surprises there from Katie Mack. Whether she uh, hits the middle of the bat or she finds the edge, it still finds the boundary line. And tell by the crowd that they absolutely loved it. They knew that she'd found the gap. Maloney gives up on it. And Laura Vulvart gets closer and closer to that half century. Snuffy Day tosses it up, invites Laura Vulvart to go down the ground, and they've taken it finally. One to hands and one that's taken cleanly. That is Annabelle Sutherland at long on. And this record breaking partnership has finally been broken. Oh, and there's an opportunity to get two wickets in very quick succession. And Sophie Day, what an over for her. We saw two wickets in an over three times last night. Oh. Levers creates power, creates distance, and that has gone all the way. I think she's been thinking, uh, why am I struggling out here and swinging and missing in a couple? As McGrath just backs away, knows she's got some space. That is the skill set of the number one T20 batter in the world. Patterson straight up in the air, doesn't get distance. Maya Bouchier won't drop that. She's a classy fielder and the Stars yet again have just broken a partnership when needed. Looking to hit with the breeze here, Tali McGrath gets into a wonderful position, gets all the angles right. Back over the wicket to Tali McGrath, the field is up and it just allows her to use those levers we've been talking about. Stays over the wicket. Goes full and straight, it was a delivery that uh, got Ash Gardner the other evening, but doesn't get Talia McGrath. This time looks to go across the crease again, deeper in the crease and just short. she had the decision whether or not to try and attempt the catch or just sit back and ensure that no more slip in play. As Lanning picks it up off the pads, whips it deep and is gone! 55 in the first game. She is gone for one in the second. And Gibson in her first WBBL match is going to get a head ruffle for the ages. Dunkley, high, long, straight down the ground, and all the way. Yeah, he likes to hit straight up. I'm surprised they haven't actually got someone back there. Against the leg spinner. Tosses it up, goes after it again, and a chance for the second wicket. It's been nicely taken by Laura Vulvart. A wicket apiece to the opening bowlers for the strikers. As Capsi looks to go big, and they're falling like flies here at Karen Rotten Oval. Lanning, the first to go, then Dunkley, and now Capsi, the three internationals. One, two, three, go on. There's the pull shot, and it hasn't got all of it. Mashungo with two wickets and a catch. You can't keep her out of the game. Go on, celebrate. <laughs> as Bouchier goes after the first ball from Wellington, and that is smartly caught as well. Gemma Barsby racing around the boundary line. We've gone from one leg spinner to the other. Change in style, but still with the same result. Stepped up on the boundary line for the strikers. Bold around the legs, too full for that kind of shot. As the pull shot comes out from Fulton, there's a fielder out there, and of course, the fielder takes it. They will not drop them tonight, the Adelaide Strikers. Gibson gets her second catch. Through, Boulder. If she wasn't going to be bold, Patterson was there for the stumping. And the Leggies are putting on a show tonight for the Adelaide Strikers. To hit to the field. Oh, struck in front. McGrath might get into the wickets, and she does. A judged LBW, the Stars are nine down. The Strikers are one away from a record-breaking win. Well, was there an edge? Yes, there was. Through to Patterson, who takes the catch. McGrath finishes off a record-breaking win for the Adelaide Strikers.